We're beginning like we would on any other day, starting with Luigi Circuit. And I also thought I'd pit them against the Nintendo Staff Ghost to see who does the best. At the moment, Nintendo is winning, but oh, not for long. Oof quickly overtook them. And oh, wow, they're using Dry Batter Flame Flyer. I think Flame Flyer is considered the best cart, so it makes sense that they'd be using that. And it looks like they're snaking. I honestly have no idea about what people do with carts, so I guess snaking is a thing in Mario Kart Wii, it's just obviously outmatched by wheelies. There's a lot of straights, which makes it quite easy for them to do the snaking, and they take this corner very tight. Next up is Moomin Matters, we have Ivan on the scene. Also using Dry Batter, I wonder if there's a specific reason why people are using Dry Batter instead of Funky Kong, because Funky Kong has the highest speed stat. Maybe he has better mini turbo, maybe he has better handling, but probably some, some stat he has is worth more than Funky Kong's speed when it comes to using cart. Oh, look at that low trick! Oh my god, and the hop over the grass. Avoiding the blue ramp? Should I be avoiding the blue ramp when I play this course online? That low trick, dude. I, I, I was doing that so consistently, there's gotta be a way. Oh my god, the mole almost got in his path as well. In, in Mario Kart Wii, the mole's uh, dirt slows you down, you can't trick off of it like an 8. Now we have Mushroom Gorge, and Mushroom Gorge has three categories that we're going to be looking at. The first one is uh, no shortcut, so I'm not sure what counts as the shortcut. I assume it's the gap jump at the end that they're not going to do. And oh my god, cart in this game when it comes to like going off of ramps and bounce, but oh wow. Not taking the mushroom, interesting. Cart in this game when taking like ramps and bounce pads is so jank compared to 8. If you drift off of a ramp in Mario Kart Wii, you just keep flying to the side. You like do not get any like air correction. So it makes sense why they're playing this so safe and not really drifting off of these mushrooms. Okay, they're taking the shortcut. So what what shortcut are we looking to not take, I wonder? So I guess it makes sense that the um, the mushrooms aren't faster, because on bikes, I think you like really off of the green mushroom, but if you can't do that, then look at that. I think they're hopping off the mushroom as well, or doing- Oh my god, they got owned by the mushroom at the end. Now we're going for the shortcut version, and I just realized these, these records have been using Funky Kong. Nice to see you back, my good friend. Oh, this is the shortcut. Wait. What? What? I didn't- <laughs> Excuse me? I knew you could do that, but I didn't know it was faster. That's crazy, so they do that instead of the gap jump? Actually, I guess I didn't- Wait, they do the gap jump too? So one of, one of them, they're not doing 3 for 3. Well, they're not doing anything for 3 for 3, but, what, but one of the laps, they're not going to use the mushroom at all. So I guess they're just doing that shortcut on lap 1, and maybe it's too risky to go for multiple times, so they're going to use this mushroom for the gap jump. Very different alignment that the other player used as well. Oh wow, they're hitting the wall from slightly lower down to get a bit less air. They're going this way? Is this way faster? If you don't have a mushroom on cart? Or is it faster anyway? Wait, no, 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 no. No shot. Oh my god! Before we leave Mushroom Gorge behind, we have the glitch category. Baishun has the cart world record for this one. Using the mushroom right away. Now I know this glitch, and I have done it on cart before but probably not as well as this. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> oh! Okay, so on uh, the bike world record, they stay on the wall, but on the cart, I guess they just... Um, they land again, which is a lot slower, but it's still very fast. You know, they're completing the track in like well under a minute, and it's still very impressive. The version of the glitch I've done with the cart is, yeah, that, where you go all the way to the other side. Now we have Toad's Factory, and this also has two categories, a shortcut and a no shortcut. This is the no shortcut version. And I'm actually very curious about the shortcut version, because I know, I think I know what the shortcut is, but I thought it was bike only. Are they going to do the light cut streamless? No. Didn't, yeah, okay, I was, for a moment I thought they might. But no, they don't trick off of the ramp to get a better alignment for the lake. Oh, actually, I think I recognize the 7k tag. I think they're known, like, if they have 7k in their name, I think that means they're, like, known for being, like, playing with carts competitively or just being very good at using carts. Let's see the shortcut one more time. Nice. And the fact that they land and then they grip the road without sliding away, ready to hit the boost panel in the mud section is actually very impressive. Now, this is the shortcut time. So the shortcut usually is you, like, clip off of the box. Okay, so that they haven't 
clipped off of the box. Quite notably. So what's the shortcut gonna be? Okay. What's the shortcut? I mean, this is faster. This time it's four seconds faster than the no shortcut category. So what is the shortcut here? Are they gonna do it shroomless? Oh my god, oh my god, they did it shroomless. So maybe the shortcut is doing it shroomless. Wild saving that for lap three instead of doing it at the start, by the way. Now there is a glitch on Mario Circuit, but it doesn't look like anyone's done it with a cart, which is what I'd expect. Uh, the, the method in which it is done is not one that I would imagine to be possible with a cart. This is like watching a Mario Kart 8 or 8 Deluxe world record in Mario Kart Wii. It's very strange. Because you see this a lot in Mario Kart 8, you uh, like snaking back and forth with the middle way. Like this is what Mario Kart 8 World Record looked like in the chain shop. That was pretty cool. It's like they're hopping onto the ramp and then I guess that's helping them get less air or get like the right trajectory off of it. And it's also important to note where they're getting the mini turbos and the super mini turbos. Because we're so used to not seeing super mini turbos in Mario Kart Wii because uh, bikes don't have them. This is the shortcut category, not the glitch category, the shortcut category. I mean, I mean, it sure, it sure looks like a glitch, but this is not considered a glitch. Well, well probably it's considered a glitch, but it's not considered the glitch. So are they going to do that setup every time? Because that looks very precise. Looks like they're slowing down a little to try and set up some kind of alignment that they have going on here. And I wonder if there's a reason why they use Baby Daisy for this instead of Funky Kong. Maybe it's just the way that the cart interacts with the pillar and the wall that makes them uh, fall down. Maybe they just need uh, better like handling and acceleration to be able to make that turn right there. Now we have a different cart combo again. I wonder why this vehicle is used and this is the glitch. So I imagine it's gonna be a very similar entry. Oh, they're not using a mushroom. Did they use a mushroom in the previous one? I feel like they did. And then here's the classic <laughs> coconut mole glitch. Chances are you've seen this glitch before, very well known. Now we have Donkey Kong Snowboard Cross, Bepis Cloud has the world record. Shouts to Bepis Cloud. And oh my god, wait, are they on auto? No. No way. They are on automatic and they have the world record? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I mean, that's, cl that's very clean. That's very impressive. I guess, honestly, using automatic for a cart honestly can make it feel a bit more like a bike because you don't swing out as much. Oh my god! That is not easy! <laughs> this is the no glitch category. Wario! The Nintendo Ghost is also on Flame Flyer. You seen the mushrooms there? Already. I mean, I knew about that shortcut, but I didn't know you could do it with a cart. Oh, what the? What, dude? You can't. You can't do that. You're gonna hit. You're gonna hit the car. Chill. That is very cool. <laughs> I'm also gonna say something that's gonna sound stupid, but it's interesting that the shortcut is faster. Like the alternate route where you go off to the left here is not faster when you use a bike, I believe. So whatever strat they do with the bike, I guess just don't translate over the carts. They are on the jet setter. This is the worst controlling vehicle like in the game, but it is also the highest speed stat vehicle in the game. And they're using automatic and they're just bouncing off the pipe. Usually I'm used to seeing like Funky Kong jump into the abyss and then land in the pipe and shoot up. You just, they, they share, they're, straight, they're just landing on it. Why are they competing with themselves? Why are the three ghosts? Hold on, I set something up wrong. <laughs> Hitting all the cones, I guess it's worth it to hit the cones. Yeah, I mean, this is what you'd expect Daisy Circuit to look like. Not the most interesting of tracks. The way they use that mushroom is pretty cool. Now, there is a glitch on uh, Koopa Cape, but nobody has done it with a cart. So... Oh my god! That's worth it to do Shroomless? I'm not in frame? I know about that one. But I wasn't expecting the other one to be worth it to do Shroomless. Where are the mushrooms going to be used? Oh, I guess for the waterfall at the end, huh? Because it's a lot stronger than in Mario Kart Deluxe. In Mario Kart Deluxe, you can just kind of drive through it. But in this game, you got to use a mushroom. 
Yeah, so they build up a super mini turbo and then they use that to cut through the grass and that's faster than going around, I guess. And you can't do that if you're using Funky Kong Battle Bike. One more time. Hey. This, I believe, is the no glitch version. Wow. That was really clean how they drifted into that shortcut. The track honestly had a lot of changes in it between like this 7 Tour and 8 Deluxe. It's come a long way. Like, I know about the turn skip. I've seen it done with a bike. But I've never seen them get that much air. They just went flying. Was it the Super Mini Turbo that did it? Is it the Kart Hitbox that did that? I feel like they're not gonna do it again. I'm wrong. They're just easily just flying over the gap. They're not gonna go for 360 though, right? No, seriously, I thought like... Do they even do 3 on bike? I assume they do, right? The Viren here is, I believe, gonna do the glitch version of the track. However, it doesn't look like they're going for it yet. If they go for the turn skip again, I'm gonna lose it. You have to be kidding me. Is this just easy? Oh, they're definitely going for it. They're lined up. All right, out of bound, behind the wall, lining up. Yeah, barely making it across with two mushrooms. Are they gonna use the last mushroom to get across? They are, okay. So you can do that shroomless with a wheelie, but I guess without wheeling, you need a mushroom. You're still going for it! After you made this really difficult glitch, you're still risking that shortcut on lap 3? This is the no shortcut version of Grumble Volcano. And I'm sure they're still going to be taking shortcuts in the no shortcut route. It's just not going to be the shortcut. They could still take the one here. I wonder if this is banned. Okay, they're not taking it. It's either not worth it at all, or it's just not allowed in this category. A lot of this is just very, very tight driving. Very impressive and technical maneuvering. Oh, what? They didn't do that last time. No, they're gonna do that again? What's going on? What are they saving the mushroom for? There's that tiny little gap jump at the end, I guess. Okay, cool. Onto the shortcut version of the world record now. I wonder if they're gonna do this on the right side or the left side. Both would be impressive if they do it without stopping. Okay, they're doing it on the left side. The way they did that though, like going off it sideways, that's very impressive. Oh my, that, that was just showing off. Are they gonna do it while the rock's shaking? No, they're gonna do the respawn shortcut. You can't do that every lap because you lose your mushrooms when you fall off in this game, unlike in Mario Kart 8 where you keep them. Now for the Gram Volcano glitch. I'm sure we've all seen this, but just in case you haven't, I, I wonder how they get up there. Oh my god. Okay, well I didn't know you could do that without wheeling. And yeah, you just kind of drive around the rock and that, that, that's it. That's the... <laughs> Welcome to Gram Volcano. <laughs> I'm gonna Mario Kart Wii. Dry Dry Ruins. I feel like all the strats I know are like involve wheeling. Okay, I'm surprised the car even fits in that gap. The next shortcut I know is a glitch where you like gonna go through the wall here or the camera gets stuck behind the wall because you cut it so tight. Are they gonna do that? Yes and no. Looks like maybe they're lining up something. Oh, they're going up. Why did they do that on lap two and not lap one? That is so strange to me. I wonder why. Is it because it lines up nicely with like the pillar? I, I have no idea. Moonview Highway. Nice to see Funky Kong with a world record. I believe he had it in Mario Kart Deluxe as well. At least at the time of recording. Whoa. Oh wow. Oh, those tricks. Bowser's Castle now. Oh, Nintendo getting a bit of a head start on SPG. And there they go. Oh no, they're back in front. Nintendo. Very formidable. Okay, they're gone. I'm not gonna take the shortcut because that's the name of the category. That's very tight. Like, yes, I've seen people take very tight turns before. Those are the cart world record. These are not, like, as far as I know, they're not heavily contested. So the fact that they've gone this far is very, very impressive to me. This is now the shortcut version. I'm very interested to see what the shortcut's going to look like at a high level, no stop with a cart. No time to align, you just go. Oh, you drift into it. Wow, they barely made that. Going for a third one? Whoa. Now, I don't know if this is still the case, but it definitely used to be the case, and probably is still the case, that the cart was actually faster than the bike, and it's because of this. <laughs> this shortcut is just absolutely absurd, and it is cart only, I think. 
you can probably do it with a bike, but like, like that's probably ways now, but it was cart only. Oh, and they're gonna do that shortcut as well. They're doing all the Rainbow Road shortcuts. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is just straight up the world record, not just the car world record. Oh, and we're doing the little, uh, little root switch as well. I don't know if they're gonna do the root switching again here, but I wanted to mention that usually, like, I've done the root switching before, but I've done it with a bike where you wheelie, again, you, you wheelie up it to get the extra air. So the fact that you can do it on a car is crazy to me. I keep saying it, but I, I don't know. It's wacky. Peach Beach. Starting off by just going down the middle. Makes sense. Lots and lots of snaking because there's so many big old straights. And then they just have to be aware of where the water is. Wow, they are almost completely in the water there. We got another 7k player picking on Yoshi Falls. I feel like I've seen a task of this stolen and put on TikTok of people taking these turns ridiculously tight. And it looks like we're going to be seeing more of that RTA. Jesus Christ, dude. Chill out, Daniel. <laughs> Great name. Why are you on the off-roader? And how do you have the world record using it? <laughs> what benefits does the off-roader have that I'm not aware of? Excuse me, how is that not the glitch? Did I pick the wrong ghost? Where's Nintendo Ghost? Hold on. No, this is right. Okay, no, this is the right ghost. Apparently, you can just do this. I didn't know you could do that with a cart. I thought war clubs were bikes only, but okay. Maybe that's why they use the off-roader. Maybe the off-roader can do war clubs. I wonder if the off-roader could do any of the other glitches that like haven't been done on carts. So this is the no glitch, the one where they do the glitch. What's the glitch one gonna be? They're not doing the glitch! Wait, did I get it the wrong way around? I, you know what it is? I, pro I probably just assumed that the faster one was the glitch, and the slower one wasn't. <laughs> but you know what? I think the slower one is the one that did the glitch, and it's just not faster to do it on a cart. <laughs> okay, you know what? That makes sense. <laughs> they just did it for the sake of doing it, even though it's not faster. <laughs> you know what? I respect that. That's pretty awesome. N64 Mario Raceway Battle of the Babies. Taking the mushroom here. Ooh, cool. And then I guess the other thing I'm most interested in is what they're gonna do for the pipe. Are they gonna do like the double pipe trick that you see bikes do? No, okay. I assume it's either not possible on a car or just not worth going for. I guess this is like the off-road cart. It makes sense by the look of those wheels. And Sherbet Land is actually partially off-road. For some reason, Nintendo decided that the, sl that the slippery ice they should make that off-road. So if you use a vehicle that could off-road, like the Magic Cruiser, you just win. Shy Guy Beach by Lord Naomi. Curious to see what it looks like on a car. And Rosalina! I think this is the first Rosalina world record on a car that we've seen. Why are you going over there? No way that's faster, dude. I've never seen anyone go over there. Like, at least like, not with the intention of winning. <laughs> Naomi, you have done well. Watch out for the bomb, Naomi! Okay. I wonder what type of shortcut they're gonna do. There are a lot of different ways you can approach the dock area of this track. You can do it without a mushroom, you can go with a mushroom. You can try and cut across and uh, go for the shortcut, like the off-road shortcut, or you can just ignore it. I guess that's the way they want to do it, which makes sense. So I guess now that we know they're not going to be taking the dock ramp, Let's like pay attention to like how tight they take the off-road shortcut. Cause we've all taken that shortcut before. Never mind, they're taking the dog shortcut now. And they're doing the other mushroom. What are they doing? Now well, they have two mushrooms going into lap three, so I assume they're gonna do the double shortcut I was talking about. I'll see you in like 15 seconds, I guess. Hi, I think it's been 15 seconds. Good timing. They're, they're doing it. Yeah, they're doing the double. They barely avoided those boxes. That seems very unintuitive with a card. <laughs> but they, they clutched it out. Waluigi Stadium. This time we have Fox from 7K. With the Wii wheel? Now they aren't ne what? Oh, this is the glitch. Okay. I wasn't expecting this to be the glitch. Because it's slower than the <laughs> no glitch time. <laughs> yeah, hold on, wait, yeah, whatever they did, that doesn't look was that I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> I I they <laughs> They got stuck on the off-road. 
I guess there's not much competition for the glitch time on the card. The Nintendo Staff Ghost is beating them. <laughs> but the Nintendo Staff Ghost didn't do the glitch, so they're not competing in the same category, alright? Waluigi's being a bit of a dirty cheater here. Oh, they didn't hit the offer at that time, that's good. I thought I'd add Fox's ghost into the mix of them doing the glitch. Oh, we don't quite get to see them, we're already past. <laughs> that's a shame. Oh, now that's clutch. Oh my god, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, no, I can see I can see why this ended up being a bit faster. But hey, maybe if this person did the glitch category, maybe they'd know. Uh... I remember when I was younger, I submitted a time to a custom track that had no like no competition because I wanted the world record and I intentionally did the shittiest job possible because I thought it'd be really funny to have a world record that's just total garbage. These half pipe tricks are crazy by the way. And the turn skip. DS Desert Hills, I assume this is the no shortcut time because it's slower than the other time I have downloaded but may maybe not. They're using the jet setter again, very shocking choice. This is a very twisty track. I would have expected them for sure to be using something different, but honestly, I feel like the fact that the road is so slidey is helping them turn tighter. Well, maybe because that that, that long straight, that's why it's worth using this vehicle. Oh, nice! I thought you could only do that with a wheelie, with a bike, cutting off both off-road turns with one mushroom. Excuse me! What are you doing? <laughs> Respawn shortcut! <laughs> I mean, I knew you could do that, but I didn't know it was faster. Is it worth going for the respawn shortcut online? So this one by SBG is a lot faster, so I assume it's going to be the glitch version. Where you go off the wall here and you skip the lake. But I don't know, they have, they're not doing it. <laughs> I was so foolish for thinking I didn't need to write them down and thinking the faster ones would be the glitch ones and the slower ones were the no glitch ones. I think the other one was the glitch one. <laughs> no! Well, good job, SBG. <laughs> I don't even know what to believe anymore. We have a no shortcut version and a shortcut version for BC3. I would assume this is going to be the no shortcut one because it's 20 seconds slower than the other one that I have downloaded. If they take the shortcut, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I'm going to lose my my what? <gasps> what is that? <laughs> Excuse me, I've never I've never seen this. How did they just launch themselves like that? And they're doing shoeless cuts through the off road. Are they going to do that again? They still have three mushrooms. Okay, no they don't. I, I was scared they were saving them. What is this strategy? So they're using the same strategy that you use for the shortcut to launch yourself up into the air using the ramps. But instead of using it for the shortcut, they're using it to like skip ramps. Like quite frankly, this might be the one I'm most interested in. Because this shortcut, I'd, how are you going to do this with cart? <laughs> Three laps. Let's see, do they go flying? Okay, they don't go flying, they do the same rail strat. They drift into it. Is that consistent? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they do crazy stuff with that shortcut on bikes as well, but you know, when you see people go for it online, you know, they don't drift into it, they... They, they, they try to like stop and align. Like if you haven't tried this before, what will happen most likely if you try to do the shortcut like they're doing is you will not go this far. Even if you use your mushroom, you are just going to hit the wall <laughs> and fall into the lava immediately. You're not even gonna respawn over there. So we're gonna respawn backwards. Come on, don't be scared. Just fling yourself into the air. Be like the other guy. Aww. Boo. This is still extremely cool, but I want to see you fling yourself into the air. They are almost lapping the Nintendo Expert Staff goes. We have two for Parkway. Once again, I'm going to assume that the slower one is the no shortcut time. But let's see. <laughs> At this point, I don't know what to expect. Please don't do the shortcut. Please. No! Why is this slower? Why is this one slower? That looks quick. How is it slower? Is it because they used that mushroom there? I now see why it's slower. Why do they, are they like... Why do they do it like that? Why do they use that mushrooms like that? So this is the no shortcut time. Right? Yes, okay, they are not taking the shortcut. The Koopa took the shortcut on the mini-map. They are ahead. So if they, if they just did that... Every lap... Maybe, maybe they would stay ahead. I don't know. 
I guess it depends how good uh, cast assist stream spot is. Now see the shortcut. Don't get stuck in the mud. Okay, they kind of got stuck in the mud a little bit, but I think it was on purpose. So they didn't uh, slide off into the grass. One more shortcut. There we go. Oh, that was well, maybe the cleanest one yet. Just one category for GCN Mario Circuit. Okay. Pretty good, that, that's what I would expect. Now, I know it's possible to do a double trick here on the bridge. Do they do it? Oh, they do, that was clean. They almost set the piranha plant. So now it's Mario Circuit 3. I feel like it's going to be very interesting to watch on a cart. Lots of opportunities for super mini turbos, especially using the wild wing. I feel like we're gonna be seeing super mini turbos on every single turn. Yeah, look at that. Super mini turbo after super mini turbo after super mini turbo. Very much like an A Deluxe, I feel like you just see Ultra Mini Turbo after Ultra Mini Turbo, but those aren't in Mario Kart Wii. Interestingly, they do not take the gap in the wall shortcut. They take the same uh, shortcut that you take in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I think that's interesting because I feel like there's more off-road there in the 8 Deluxe version, whereas the wall is extended a little bit further out in the Wii version. I might be wrong about that. Peach Gardens, another one that only has one category. Probably going to be the same thing every lap. See what they do. I assume it's going to be the shortcut. It's such a big shortcut. Yeah. And then the maze, they're just weaving back and forth, getting mini turbos, makes sense. Okay, I want to have another look at the turn that they take after this hedge made. Oh my god, the chain chomp! Jesus Christ, okay, this turn. That is crazy, using the fact that when you turn with the cart, you swerve outward, using a turn, using a drift to the right to swing to the left in such a tight space is really cool. Please, for the love of God, this is one second slower than the other DK Mountain time I have downloaded. Please let this be the no shortcut version. That's not an off-road shortcut like an 8 Deluxe. You can just take it as tight as they want. That, that part's not fenced off like an 8 Deluxe. They can just room over it. Now it's time for the shortcut world record. There's only one second faster than the no shortcut world record. And it's by Ivan, who has had a lot of the really good world records so far. So I'm very interested to see why the shortcut, which I feel like usually is very, very fast, is only one second faster overall. So the shortcut is just over here. You go through this fence. It does look like they're going for it. Yes, they are. Oh, wow. I don't know. The execution of that looks very similar to how it's done on a bike. Uh, that seems very fast. Okay, I brought in the no glitch guy and look how close they are on lap two. It is neck and neck. I think what happened, I think it's because the uh, the cart that they're using and Baby Daisy is just so much slower than the Wild Wing. Even though they're doing the glitch, the Daisy is just catching back up immediately. Are they gonna do the glitch again here? They are, so the Daisy went round. They cut ahead for a little bit. They're clearly ahead of that Daisy player. We're watching the last part of Cinematic, dude. I wanna see Daisy on the tail. <laughs> Look at them! Partners in crime! Oh, that's a very cool cinematic, Jesus Christ. Daisy can't catch them this time, but look how close she is on the bridge! Oh my god! Finally, we have Lord Naomi. Again, very twisty track. Makes sense we're seeing Wild Wing here. Nintendo! Look at them bursting into the lead, though. But they're gonna have to take these turns a lot more inside if they want to stay there. Naomi is quickly on their tail. And I feel like they're probably going to do like the rail shortcut at the end. I'm not sure why they're going to use that mushroom though. That's very interesting to me. I see maybe across this grass patch. Yeah, across this little grass patch is where they use the mushroom. If they don't go onto the rail yet. They're going to go for the rail from the second ramp. And let's see how they take this turn. Wow, very good. Yeah, I should have been doing cinematic this whole time. <laughs> Trying to see Bowser Jr. in the distance in cinematic cam is so funny. The shortcut with cinematic? Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's sick. If you're a bike, if you are a bike, get out of here. But if you're a car, hit that like button, am I right? 